Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, potassium hypoiodite. Okay, so let's work from left to right. The first element that I see is potassium. I'm going to scan the periodic table, and I see that potassium is right here. Potassium is labeled as letter K. K for Christina. Just kidding. K for potassium. But whatever. Anyway, Potassium is in group one, right? And all elements are in group one, except for hydrogen or metals. And they all have an ionic charge or a oxidation charge of a plus one. So I'm going to write K as a plus one. Next I see is hypoiodite. Here's a little trick, guys. Anytime that you see an I-T-E ending, it's always a polyatomic ion. But polyatomic ions are never going to be found on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I wrote the one down that we're going to be using here. Hypoiodite is always I-O with a negative one charge. And now since we have the two components, all we do is this little cool trick where we crisscross the charges to say how many of each component I need. So this plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one of the hypoiodites. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need the one potassium. When you crisscross, don't worry about the charges anymore, okay? They kind of like vanish. And you're just looking at the subscripts, aka the bottom numbers. Now we're ready to write our formula. So in this case, I have potassium K, and I only need one of them, so I don't have to write one, so I move on. And then in this case, I have one iodite, so no need for parentheses. I just put I, O, oh. and we're done. So potassium hypoiodite is K, I -O. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your classmates, tell your friends. All right. I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.